Hello everyone, today we will be doing a quick review on the Beecher screen that it's provided for Audi's 4.0 and Daza platform. As you can currently see, we are on the gauges screen. We have our boost, wastegate, duty cycle, knock, lambda, low pressure, and high pressure fuel readings. On the bottom right side of the screen, we have our voltage, so you can see how much power is getting to the screen. On the left of that, we have our DA, which is our density altitude. And on the left of that, we have our ethanol content reading, which is currently reading between 30.7 to 30.8 percent. So if you do have upgraded uh, fuel lines and are running ethanol, you're able to easily check and see how much ethanol you are running. On the bottom left, uh, we have our IATs for the manifold, for the throttle body. You can also see the temperature of your oil, coolant, and gear. So going to the next slide over here, we have our G-meter, throttle, ignition, load, direct injection, and port injection readings. And one slide to the right, we have our same exact readings, but in a, diff in a slight different format. So over here, we have our map switching capabilities. So I'm currently on slow one, which is my currently, uh, the, the current map that I'm currently on right now, which is my daily map. I have slow two, slow three. So you're able to rename these maps actually uh, to whatever your preferences are. So uh, we have our stock, valet, and max cool, as well as no start map as well. So here is our uh, live data logging, which is 24 seven. It's logging all the time when your car is running, you know, whether you're doing a pull or not, regardless of the situation. So if we get back onto the, if we tap on this uh, DS1 screen over here, you're able to actually go on the DS1 page itself. So you can go on your files. You can also check your ECU to see what map or uh, what file you're currently running. So if we tap gauges, we go back to the, uh, the Beecher screen. So what's so nice about the Beecher screen is if you actually slide up, you can actually check for fault codes as well as clear them. You can as well as uh, see how much ethanol you need to put in with your current uh, fuel tank level. So my target ethanol uh, percentage is 40%, so E40. So it's telling me right now to add 6.2 gallons of E85 and 7.7 .7 gallons of pump uh, to reach the resulting mix of 40%. Um, over here you can also play around with your uh, ethanol percentage so like if you do have an ethanol tester and you're at a station and you find out you know hey the 85 is reading 80% and not 85% you're able to play around with these values as well so if we go and click on the beach itself and you click on view logs you're able to actually view your logs over here so you can see the cloud icon on the right side of the screen where it says synced. So if you tap on one of those, it'll instantly upload it to the, the sync log view, viewer, which you can go back and take a look at your logs anytime. And what's so nice about this is if you're getting your car tuned or um, by a tuner that's remotely, they're able to view your logs through the sync log viewer without having to need to send you know, an email and uh, send files and vice versa. Uh, 